Coming to you from International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and they were just finishing up a 69 Camaro I think you all going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Steve, that's kind of a different first generation Camaro, hey? It's different, for sure. I don't remember seeing one two-tone, and two-tone and a vinyl top. Yeah, no kidding. It's definitely a little different. It's got a, with the vinyl top, it's got the gloss trim around it, and right. then it's got the satin finish, the rest of it. So I try to incorporate that in with the interior. So if you notice the back of the seats are like a high gloss black uh, fiberglass. Yeah. And then we put some uh, like a low luster uh, black, a satin black in there with it. So it'll have a, it's got both a shiny and a satin look to it. And then we use the, the Moors and Giles uh, black leather that really looks good with the paint job and stuff. What are those seats out of? Well, I bought them they're just an aftermarket seat that okay. you can buy. That, it bought a fiberglass frame and then just redid everything. So right. Viv said, uh, his car belongs to Viv out of Canada. And he's like, the only request he had was he wanted high back buggy seats. I said, okay. So I tried to get online and try, just try to find something that was really cool, aggressive looking that would match with the car and found these. I was like, these, these right here look like racy seats. The car is racy style, you know, just a, so trying to do something completely different than you just your normal everyday bucket seat. Right. I think we achieved it. The only thing that he, he, I was like, you want me to put some orange in there? He's like, very little. So we just put a stitch, you know, just an orange stitch in it and everything else is black. Right on. I mean, and it looks good. You know, put the LED lights in it, of course, and made the uh, aluminum trim and painted it black. So it, the light reflects off of the black trim. And, uh, I like the door handles, uh, the pull doors on the inside, they look like a lever instead of a uh, right. right? Mm -hmm. And do you have some kind of insert in the door panel? It is. It's a. It's a. It's like a black um, pinpoint vinyl type of accent material. Okay. That's got a little bit of a shine to it because I wanted to have you know sort of break it up and give it that. The leather's got like more of a satin look and the and the vinyl. It, it pretty much matches, but it's got just a little bit more of a sheen to it right. so that it, even though the whole interior is still black it still looks like it's got a little bit of texture two-tone whatever you know what i'm saying well then you got that shiny and that flat on the outside yeah. too and it's in the details tying that together that, yeah a little yeah, dimension good yeah mm -hmm. yeah of course the headliner is the same way we, we did the full wrap leather headliner around the outside of it and then put that same texture material on the insert so it, re it looked really cool and then painted the dome light painted it a shiny black we try to, you know, incorporate, like I said, a high gloss black and a semi gloss black in them with the interior, just just to break it up because the outside's the same way. Right. So we wanted, uh, you know, we we wanted to complement what he already has, and uh, just go from there. So, you know, every you know every interior we do, we just got to look at the car right, and then right. it fit the interior to the car. Sure, sure. I can't take this interior and put it in anything else, but this interior looks perfect in this car. It matches it right. Yeah. So. And you know I really dig rear seat speakers and this one kind of looks like it has a rear seat speaker back there. Yeah it actually does have speakers in it. It's got a big boom box in the back, two amplifiers, uh, it's got a killer system. It's got speakers in front of the rear seats in the, in the back kick panel or back uh, quarter panels. It's got speakers in the doors. It's got tweet. It's got custom tweeters in the A pillars that we flush mounted so they look pretty neat. Oh, wow. Um, cup holders? It does have cup holders. You slide the door open, it's got a couple cup holders in there. Um, the window switches are inside that also. And then uh, the trunk? Trunk, we did the same thing. Just just a good, clean, put a Camaro in them on it, you know, whether it was painted black. Um, the same type of texture material in it with an accent, uh, LED lights. See, that LED light in that trunk, you know, it just ties everything together. Because yeah. it gives that trunk that same kind of glow as the interior yeah. has, you know? I like to say it's all in the details, and of course, you know, you are a professional at doing the details. I think it turned out great, man. Well, thank you, Scotty. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty cool looking. Viv's not seen it yet, and I hadn't seen him any pictures or anything yet, so hopefully, I think he'll dig it. I think just another one dropped it off, did it right. He said, do Pretty what much, you do. He, exactly. He said he's got, a, he's got another one in the build. He's all wanting right. to build a 67 Mustang, so he's like, he, he's already got one planned out for the, after this one, and we did the Corvette for him not too long ago. So he, he said he loves her work and wants to keep us busy, which is a good thing. Right on. Yeah, right on. And you say it's from Canada? <laughs> the car's from Canada. He actually bought it here at uh, Barrett Jackson. 
and it already had a full interior in it. But then after he got it home to Canada and we got to look in at it and then looking at his other car with the interior that we did in it, he was like, uh, I want to send my Camaro down there and get right. it redone. I was like, bring it on. That's the thing though, right? Once you got one, <laughs> you know, they all got to be there. Yeah. Right. What's up under the hood, Steve? Well, it's an LS7. That's a 427 small block. Viv said when he gets it back, he'll put a supercharger on it. So like he's saying, yeah. make yeah. a LS9 LS out of it, right? right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think he said he's running around 600 horsepower right now, wow. and then boost it up to around eight, I guess, when you get that's it That's what he needs. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah, that's yeah. what everybody needs. That's right. Eight horsepower. Horse. Yeah, and a car that weighs, what, 20-some hundred pounds. <laughs> that's it. But no, he did a nice job, though, right? It's clean. He painted it to match the car, or, you know, whoever right. built it had, it had it all painted. It's got big old headers on it. Um, yeah, it, looks, it, it just looks like it's going to be a fun car to drive. It does. Yeah, no, a nice clean install, not over mm. the top. Got some um, radiator shroud panel work mm. done here on the front, but it's not all paneled in. Done some done some work on the firewall, yeah. you know, but no, just nice car. I yeah. like it, man. You? Oh, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's really a cool Camaro. I mean, everybody loves Camaros. I mean, you got to right. have one. This one looks like it's built to have fun. I agree, yeah. No, I think it was built to drive. And the nice mm. thing is he bought it at Barrett-Jackson, yeah. so it's not like a fresh build that he's gonna be afraid about taking it out and getting <laughs> some use out of it, you know? That was pretty cool. He bought it from Barry Jackson, had full interior in it, and he's like, here, I want you to do it. And no, I, cool. I, I talked to him on the phone. He said that he took it home, got it up to Canada. He said the only thing that was missing in it was a Holcomb interior. So go. turned around, sent it back to the States, and now he's gonna get it back. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, he's tickled. I'm, I'm glad. I, I really enjoyed working for people that enjoy having nice stuff. For sure. No, oh, you rocked it. You, you made the uh, interior compliment the car. Thank you, Scotty. I appreciate it. So there you go from Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Street Machine. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.